Hello friends, welcome back to Laravel 9 tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about what is Laravel helper and how we can connect a database with Laravel helper, right? So last day actually we discussed about what is Laravel helper and how to connect this. So this is my Laravel helper I just created. So inside uh, the app, we just created a helpers folder name and inside there I have my helper.php and after that I registered my helper into these files i will share the link of this video inside the description of this video also and we created a helper function that is the gate message and we can access that from anywhere that is we are calling gate message from the helper test controller we can call this from home controller right so if i just uh, go here and uh, check helper just now i just going to call the check helper so just go to the web.php and let's try it so just right so we can see the laravel helper actually these things are coming uh, from the helper right so we are getting the message and we just exploring the message that is takes to array right so right now we are getting this. all the basic things actually we have done now my question is if i just want to get data which are coming from database means i want to connect the database with my my helper right so how we can do this so we know that uh, in laravel we have dot env that is the uh, database connection we are actually connecting database from this dot env file and i am currently using the laravel 9 database that is lara 9 and if i just check into the browser and we just uh, open the lara 9 database and here you can see there is some data into the users table so just click on this and we are getting uh, some data into here i just going to fetch this data from laravel helper right so for this now i am just uh, going to uh, create another function suppose i just going to create a function um, my function name get user data okay and uh, this is a function and now i just uh, going to call the database so i will show you how we can use the db query and how we can use uh, the allocant also so simply just i just going to show you first db so using db we can get the data from the database so just uh, call this use db and here uh, simply let's take a variable that is user and let's call the db and just table and what's my table name my table name is users so just put it down here so that is users and simply just i'm going to fetch all data so simply write get and all the data from users table will get from the dollar user and i just going to uh, return this record simply okay now if i call these things now if i just call the get user data from helper test controller so what happened so simply just uh, call the record so simply just uh, call the message function there so simply just uh, call the functions that it get user data okay so as we included my helper in the composer.json so we can access all the functions from helper from anywhere from our application so simply just write this and simply take a variable that is um, user data okay so we'll get all user data from here just to return these things now if i just uh, go here so we have a three records so now just refresh this we are getting all three records that is john sunny and admin okay so these are the records we are getting okay simple and if i just uh, going to use any allocant so how we can use allocant inside the helper simply um for a user uh, for a user table we have a user model so if i just go to the model and inside the model we have a user model so simply just use the namespace app models and uh, let's specify uh, that is the use app models and what is the model name that is user okay this is a class name actually user and instead of this db simply we can use user and use get okay we will get the same output just like previous so refresh this so we are getting other things so very simple 
now you can understand inside the helper how you can use normal db or how you can use the allocant relations also and as this is the helper so we can access all the things from anywhere from our application so this is actually the benefit right so i think you will understand these things and still if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section and next day we are going to discuss about another important topic that is the laravel middleware right so this is the core concept of laravel and actually this is the features of the laravel also this is the another important feature and using media we can do uh, lots of things so we'll uh, show you in our upcoming video so keep watching this video and please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day bye